Hi, I'm Albert Kim with Blockchain News Korea, and I'm here with Diego Gutierrez uh, from RSK.co. Welcome to Korea. Thank you, Albert, for having me here. Absolutely. So could you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, I've, been in the, I, I've been a pioneer of the web in the 90s. I, I set up the main newspaper of Argentina uh, website in 1996. And uh, since then, I've been always looking for technologies that can change society for good. Um, so in 2011, I got in touch with Bitcoin. I didn't get it. <laughs> and uh, in 2012, I, I got in touch again through my good friend, Wences Casares. Uh, we were discussing this new technology, he was very excited and after that I, I, I took 15 days of reading about Bitcoin non-stop, almost non-sleeping mm -hmm. and then I decided to devote my life uh, into the technology. So I started creating the communities, the, the Bitcoin community in Argentina, uh, roaming through Latin America creating grassroots movements. Uh, around Bitcoin and this technology in Latin America and we now have nine, nine communities. I'm the president of the Latin American Bitcoin NGO uh, and as part of that process I wanted to use this technology for positive change in society and in Latin America we have 60% of the population that is ex excluded from the financial system so I wanted to put this technology to the service of financial inclusion and in that process, I realized that Bitcoin was not enough. Uh, so in 2015, I started talking with uh, Sergio Lerner. And you know, after a few months, we decided to bring smart contracts into Bitcoin um, and create what is today known as RSK. Right, right. Sounds very impressive. Uh, so we know that RSK is, a, is an application built on top of the Bitcoin. Uh, chain. Could yes. you tell us maybe a little bit about how maybe it differs from other uh, smart contract platforms? Well, I, I think it's the, the main differences are around the security model because uh, from a functionality perspective, RSK is fully compatible with Ethereum. So all Ethereum applications can be ported to RSK without modification. The APIs, the RPC interfaces, the Web3 interfaces and the Solidity language uh, run the same in RSK as they do in Ethereum. The main difference is that RSK is secured by the Bitcoin network. We, we created a mechanism called merge mining where miners can protect two blockchains at the same time. So the same Bitcoin miners with the same hashing power, they don't need to expand and send more, um, you know, can protect RSK and Bitcoin at the same time and profit from a smart contract processing. So we are giving them a new revenue stream and, um, and I think ecologically is good because we are using the same resources to get more value from the network. Right? Absolutely. Um, in terms of maybe future plans, short term, long term, are there any uh, plans that you might be able to divulge for our viewers? With, well, for our we are chasing the, the vision of creating what we call or contributing to create what we call the Internet of Value. Uh, we think that Bitcoin is only the first layer, the cornerstone of a new internet for the transfer of value. And when you think about the challenge of servicing billions of users, uh, you realize that blockchain uh, technologies like, you know, store, for a store of value, for business logic like small contracts are, are only the first part. The most important part, I would say, but we need more. We need off-chain payments if we want to scale to thousands of or tens of thousands of transactions per second. So we need uh, to have a third layer of payment processing. We need data stores so people can save sensitive data and handle the sensitive data because in the blockchain information cannot be deleted. So we need to build all the infrastructure services to have fully decentralized applications. And uh, in RSK, we are working on bringing to life the protocols and technologies that will enable that in an integrated way. But as the internet is not property of anybody, we are doing this in an open way. So we think this is going to be the integration of many networks. Uh, that's why it's an internet. Right. No? It's a network of networks for the transfer of value. Uh, so we are seeing how to bring smart contracts to uh, crypto economies that don't have it like Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. So we, we are 
collaborating with any crypto economy to try to bring together all these functionalities and, uh, and make the Internet of Value a reality. Right. Um, I know RSK is very high on education. Yes. Uh, could you speak maybe just a little bit about that, on how RSK plans to educate people? Well, um, we created the, the first version of two tracks, two educational tracks, one for decision makers, for those that are in, in traditional organizations, governments and companies and want to understand how to use the smart contracts for their particular industry. So we created that educational track. We created the content, but we give that content for free for training partners so they can adapt it and, and give it in their local language and, and localize it. And sometimes also there's many ways to educate. So some people turn it into video lessons, some people do like live lessons. So all the training partners choose how to adopt the contents, but we give the contents for free to training partners all over the world. And the second track is focused on developers. So we will have those two tracks and we develop the first version already. We have uh, seven certified training partners already giving the classes. Uh, so the idea is to have a full track on, on, on blockchain education and smart contract education. Right, excellent. Great. Um, do you have any maybe final words for the Korean viewers or anything you'd like to tell people here? Well, I think, as I said, this is a technology that will change the society as we know it. Uh, it will enable the creation of uh, identities based on reputation that are the cornerstone of a global society, a true global society, uh, where it's not so important who somebody says you are, but how you behave in life will become what you are. And now we have the tools to, to store that reputation, to, to prove that reputation to others. Uh, this will change uh, the, the competitions uh, in many industries, like the financial industry, so that will create openness and inclusiveness, so we'll have a more inclusive financial system. So this will change, you know, will bring more transparency to governments. So this technology will change society in so many ways, and we are in the early days. So if you are seeing this, you, are, you have a unique opportunity of getting involved and contribute to this transformation. So my final words are be part. <laughs> right. Absolutely. That sounds awesome. Uh, Diego, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. And I hope to uh, see you again in the near future. Absolutely. And please hit subscribe. <laughs> Bye.